Welcome back to the channel. My name is Patrick and today's video I'm going to give you a top-down analysis. Um, what I believe was going to happen is finally happening and I'm going to walk you through what I think may happen next. And also if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you what I did in regards of in regards to this morning's trade. So I've already taken a trade and I'm done for the day. So I thought I'll look at the charts and also share with you guys what I believe may happen next. Okay, so this is not a recommendation. Remember, I only scout moves. So even if I think price is gonna go a lot further in one direction, it doesn't mean I'm going to trade in that direction. I scalp based on price action on the given day okay so it's not a recommendation on what I think price is going to do it's just how I'm reading the charts currently okay so let's see so we have been trending up okay we can see down H1 but it's more clear on uh, the daily right so we've got the daily since September 2022 down here these lows and it's been making higher lows all the way through higher highs higher lows higher lows higher high higher low and so on okay all of this price action started from when price pulled back to this demand here called it i was looking for it but i just couldn't find the entry so imagine if i had that that would be amazing anyway so that's for the future but where price is now is at current highs okay so it's beat um was this april highs from 2020 so it's at current highs so imagine if you are a buyer and a seller would you want to be buying at these prices or would you want to be selling at these prices you want to sell you want to sell and try to push price down here very simple okay so that's what i've been expecting and as you can see that's how the market moves it pushes up here it comes down it pushes up here it comes down then it changes direction when it got to these highs new highs yeah so it's like push pushing down it comes up push it down comes up and what this way all the way down there so if this is a trend i would expect from these new highs it pushes down and at least comes down to this point here okay you can see price bounce here potentially and continue up or it could dig down deeper and come down to this next price point here okay and the reason i say this is because this is basically what i trade on the lower time frame this is a flag and pole uh, formation there's your pole there's a flag there's your pole there's your flag and it's just been doing it all the way through okay so at this point here this is a massive pole i need to see a flag okay so it could give a little one here and start pushing off again or it's going to give a deeper one here and start going up depending on how bullish this pair is okay so that's basically it really <laughs> that's as simple as it is i expect price to start coming down at some point it already has started and i'm going to show you the origin of this move here so if i just take this and place it now i'm going to do it backwards i'm going to show you how you could have found the top of this move here okay so it's on the daily this is what we're looking at i'm going to show you how you could have found the top of that okay so if you zoom out again and look to the left you can see here we had a downtrend right and price when it reversed down here and started coming up it's been responded to all these areas these flags as i know them okay it got into here's a flag here okay so when it entered here it entered this flag here for the first time it reacted when it got to about 50 percent mark here on this flag it reacted okay cool it beat this flag it beat this flag by beating this high it then entered it aims for this flag here okay so it got into 50 percent reacted so now above here there's a little one there so i can expect a reaction there but the main one here would be from this low to this high so when price enters it you can expect a reaction so that was the reaction from that flag okay so very consistent what i'm talking about so you can imagine we are now at this new flag here this new high this is it reacted here already so we can expect a reaction above this high okay let me just zoom in 
So just following on what we're seeing, we're seeing plants reacting to certain zones. This is the areas. So from this low to this side, that's our flag. So as it entered for the first time after breaking out from there, that breakout point, it entered here and reacted again to continue its trend. So I expect that this area has been used already, this price point has been used. I expect anything above this high here to that high there, let me just mark that out, this zone here, this flag, I expect a reaction from there, okay? So when price comes up here, you would expect some kind of a reversal pattern to start pushing it down, okay? You can refine this because this is a big zone, okay? So this from here to there is almost 300 pips, okay? So I'm not just gonna trade based off that. So what I want is a better price. So what I do is refine it even further. I'm looking now, from this low to this high this low to this high now and that is my zone I would like to trade so if price gets in there I would like to look for a reversal on a lower time frame and trade it down so that's a 120 pip zone so it definitely needs some kind of confirmation that price wants to move down not just go jump in at this price point 1280 and expect to go down I need some kind of confirmation okay so let's go back to current day now let's go to M5 and let's see what price did zoom out and we can see we should be able to see that price is shy of it okay it's reacted slightly before it okay so it came into the zone as mentioned um, but this is I got a refined zone remember it came into this zone let's just mark it up again i'll show you what i mean okay okay and this is why i don't trade these longer moves because there's so many key areas the price could react to it's hard to say which one okay so this is the zone from that high to this low is what i called out it's reacted to this one already I expect it to react to above from here to here that is our zone okay so let's go back to where we were okay so there you go so it came into that zone and it put in a reversal pattern on the lower time frame here let's just get over here this is the reversal pattern I'm talking about okay so it's been trending up since respecting the lows here it broke it but yet it pushed up again and at this point here this is the main reversal pattern that I saw okay so price now this is what I've been waiting for actually so price now pull down so it pushed up pull down flags and breaks that's my setup as you know right where is this going? Okay, just try to zoom in a little bit. Okay, that's so pushes up, comes up, fakes, fakes up, breaks down, flags, breaks down, flags, and then breaks the slow. Okay, so now I'm expecting a so This trade I did not take it because the range was too big. Okay, as I told you, I only like to take it if the range is like 15 pips. This range was 35 pips. Okay, one to one, you got it. I did check. You did get 35 pips, but I don't want to risk more than 15 pips in my moves. So it it pulled, it faked up, it pulled flags and broke structure. So when it comes back into this zone, this pivot point, this key area is where you sell price from. And as you can see, look, rejection, 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 rejection. As it tried to enter back up, it just got pushed down from there. Okay. So price is reversing now as I expected what I was looking for so wasn't able to trade yesterday I was away I was in Madrid um, at the weekend's concert um, and the previous day that was the weekend's concert that day and this was the aftermath uh, so I wasn't able to trade either of those two days so back today on Thursday and I'm able to trade so I'm expecting price to push further because there's no reason now for it to turn around I expect it to go further down to potentially the next demand zone on the higher time frame and that could be 
that could be from this last high using it as some kind of support bounce it down potentially goes up again or it could go further down to this demand okay and go from there or if it wants it could do it from there you know it, it does what it wants but if it is coming down this is the price points i would expect um, buyers to really want to step in and uh, take it up again so if it does come down here sometime today now i doubt that it's about 200 points 200 pips so we won't do that today but if it does come down here i've got it marked up and i will be interested in buying it if it gives me the uh, buy signal i need okay so for now all i do is you know i'm not gonna sit around waiting for it to get down there I'm not going to jump in and move and expect it to get down there this this could go up and it could, i could be completely wrong and this is why i scalp because with scalping you're trading what you see now you're getting your move now and if you're right you find out now and if you're wrong you find out straight away as well it's none of this waiting and seeing if you're going to be right or wrong for multiple hours multiple days and letting your emotions get to you okay so this is why i prefer scalping because it's so it's so much easier to read so i'm gonna walk you through this trade okay so asian session price is pushing up it is a little trend okay it's not the nicest trend but you do see we have lows a high a low uh, a higher low a higher high a higher low here a higher high yeah so that's what the asian session did it pulls up to this last flag that sent it down creating new lows okay so we know the um, new york session this is new york this is london this is asian all in agreement the price wanted to come down it pushed the price down so asian session brings it back up here and puts in a reversal here okay so i'm gonna sell that okay it i don't know how long it's gonna last but i'm gonna sell it for that pullback okay so let's get back to where we were okay so we've got a little trend up here okay so that low has been respected that low is respected it pushes up it comes there it flags up and it breaks okay this could have been the entry that should have been the entry okay it could be based on that low but this is before my trading session i started looking at the charts around here okay I started looking at the charts around there, that would have been the ideal entry and you would have only risked about five pips. Okay, I looked at the charts, I saw what I saw and I saw that it had pushed down and it then broke this low. Okay, so that was a significant low. Okay, so if, if you can see just here, as it just broke that low here, price pulled back up and it taps into this um last low as well okay so that is where i wanted to enter okay so we have a fake drive up our flag and a break in structure so when price pulls back up into that zone this is where i'm selling okay so that is where i entered and i took it it a one-to-one -one would have been 15 pips I wasn't sure it's was going to do 15 pips straight away, not at this time of the day, and especially because it's the uh, price is being a bit choppy. Okay, so I only took it for six pips. So you could take it for 10 pips from this low to this high, 10 pips. So if you got in, you could take in it and you would have got 12 pips on it. Okay, that would have been the one to one if I wanted to stick around for one to one. I only took it for six pips because I wanted a quick move because. This was just before the London session. London session could easily take this further up, or it could be in agreement with price and takes it down. We don't know, but I knew I could get a one-to-one, -one, so I wanted to either a quicker one-to-one. -one, so I put a little bit more size on, and I took it for six pips instead of the twelve pips or ten pips I should have been aiming for. Okay, so very simple. Uh, top-down analysis as you got you see where I believe price is going to but I'm not going to trade based on that I'm going to trade based on what I see on a daily basis okay so price is pushing up here making new highs higher lows and then it broke structure when it beat this low here gave me a flag helping it to break structure and I took it for the one-to-one -one. I am done for the day okay that simple 
I want it to be so routine. I don't even think about it. I don't want to have any emotions when I'm trading, okay? So I see the pattern, take the move, and I'm gone. I'm done for the day, okay? All right, people, hopefully this has been useful for you. If it has, you know what to do. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I keep getting these videos out to you, okay? This is Patrick signing out. Until next time, peace.